Hello students, I'm Namrata Shinde and I'm going to teach you science this year. We are going to do a lot of activity this year and I hope you will enjoy learning science. Yes, excited? Yes, even I am excited. Okay, now, if I ask you a simple question, how are you? You will say, ma'am, we are not able to go out, we are not able to play, we are not able to meet our friend, right? Yes, I do understand. Even children, if we are in any bad condition or any worse condition, you should be always positive. You should be always think positive. Now, if I say positive, you will say in this situation, ma'am, what positivity? Yes. I will explain you how you can get positivity in the worst condition also. Right? Okay. Fine. Now, I'll take you a few months back. Right? Now, I hope you know that Amazon's rainforests are called as lungs of the planet Earth. That is, Amazon rainforest produces lot of oxygen because it has lot of plants which gives out oxygen and so it is called as the lungs of the planet earth but then what had happened to the amazon jungle oh my god what has happened oh my god it there was a fire in the amazon jungle my god isn't it really heartbreaking situation oh god can you see all the forest in fire? My God. Now, the second was Australia's bushfire. Can you see the yellow spots everywhere? There was a fire everywhere in Australia. I'll share this picture. You can see the beautiful beach here. But then what has happened? You can see there is a fire everywhere. And so, because of that, even the reflection of fly fire is seen in the sea also. My God, can you see the picture? It's really very dangerous. So, the third situation which I would like to share here is about Delhi. Delhi, capital of India, right? Now, actually what had happened in Delhi this winter, you all know that Delhi is having a very cold climate during the winter season and it has it produces a lot of fog in Delhi but nearby Delhi there are many industries or factories we can say which gives out a lot of smoke even nearby Delhi there are farms which you know in winter season the farmer after harvesting the field they burn the farm and because of that it produces lot of smoke so what happens now this smoke combines with fog and forms a smog and this year the smog was so dangerous it and this smog contains what we can say all the poisonous gases this year the smog was so dangerous that people were not able to breathe also my God, not able to breathe. Can you see this picture? Help me, I can't breathe. And because of this condition, people were not able to breathe. Schools were also closed for almost 15 days. My God, such a worse condition. Now, when this condition was going on, you can see what happened was there was a pandemic of coronavirus and because of pandemic of coronavirus what has happened everything was locked down everything came to stand still and then what happened is the all the vehicles stopped the factories stopped producing the smoke and then the earth that is mother earth got time to heal herself and this is the positive effect of coronavirus on nature. Can you see the beautiful picture wherein the mother earth is smiling? Isn't it beautiful? Yes. In the next picture, you can see the dry earth and then 
the earth is healed and you can see the lush green plants as well as blue blue beautiful sky right so this is what we can say the positive effect of corona virus right now the second interesting thing i hope you all know that there is an ozone layer this ozone layer always protects us from ultraviolet rays actually there is a hole made in the ozone layer because of the poisonous gases given out right in the atmosphere now what has happened the poisonous gases are reduced because of the pollution level has reduced because of lockdown now what has happened because of that the pollution level is reduced the ozone layer got time to repair itself and this is again a positive effect of global lockdown in the form of recovery of the ozone layer isn't it quite interesting so is there a positivity yes so you have to be very positive see this picture really beautiful right how it was before and how it is now see the difference in the sky isn't it a positivity yes you should always be positive right i am a very positive person and i want my student to be positive right so this is the positive effect of so we should never be negative we should think positive and try to get positivity from whatever bad condition or bad condition you are right so let's get started now let's come back to our chapter crop production and management now if i say crop production and management it is related to food now i want to know how much you know about food i want to know what you have learned in the previous classes if i ask you a simple question why do we need food so your answer will be we need food to grow we need food to yes for energy for repair and wear and tear of our body to live and for proper functioning now let's see one by one for growth i hope you remember how you was looking in first standard and now you have grown in eighth standard so your body is growing why your body is growing because you are eating food right so food is needed to grow the second thing is energy whatever work you do whether you dance you walk you do by whether you walk whatever work you do for that we need energy and from where we get this energy from food right yes for the repair of wear and tear of your body if you get hurt and if you want to heal your what you have got hurt you need to eat protein protein rich food right so this food is required for repair of wear and tear of our body to live and for proper functioning also right so these are the requirement that is why do we need food right i hope you have understood now let's go to the prehistoric period children i hope you know that prehistoric humans were leading a nomadic life now nomadic life means they used to roam from one place to another in the search of food right and first they used to eat raw food that is they used to kill animal and eat it right then they started eating vegetables and fruits also slowly they realized that when they used to eat the fruits and vegetables and throw the way uh, the seeds what used to happen uh, due to rain water they used to start growing now slowly slowly human beings the prehistoric humans realized that they can grow crop also this was how agriculture was born and they started sowing the crop right so these are the prehistoric humans growing the crop now so the first uh, so we can say the agriculture was born now agriculture is a latin word which says agri means field and culture means to cultivate agriculture is a practice of farming including cultivation of soil 
for growing of crop as well as for rearing of animal this is again important rearing of animals not only growing crop but also taking care of animals now you all know that farmers take care of different animals or they rear different animals like for example poultry farming that is for meat as well as for egg right the second you can say example is dairy farming that is buffaloes and cows for milk next is sheep rearing it is also for wool and wheat right then fish farming right next is goat goat for meat as well as for milk also then apiculture that is rearing of bee for honey and many more right so this is how agriculture practice is carried out with the growing of crop as well as rearing of animals i hope you understood the first important basic word of this chapter that is agriculture that is you should growing of crop as well as rearing of animal is agriculture now let's go to the next important uh, what we can say important word that is crop now crop nothing but when the plants of same kinds are grown and cultivated at one place on large scale is called as crop can you see the picture beautiful picture of crop yes now if uh, if a farmer has a land of 1 acre if you say and in this 1 acre he grows wheat crop so we can say same kind that is wheat is grown in one place and on large scale large scale one acre so it is called as crop so when a plant of same kinds are grown and cultivated at one place on a large scale is called as crop right so i hope you understood the two important words agriculture and second is crop right now i would like to share a video to you you should see this i'm sending this link please watch this video i'm sending this link below please watch this video it is very interesting and you will understand why we should not waste food right it is related to food security and it's really important to see this video because you will understand how important food is right now let's go to the next thing slide that is i want to make you sure understand important facts that you should know now this is not in the textbook but i want you to know this facts because if you understand this you will understand why we should grow crop and why we should take care of crops now if i ask you a simple question what is population of india it is almost you will say 130 crores now but plus what is happening every minute 34 babies are born so it is ever increasing right it we are the second largest populated country in the world now how much is the agriculture land of india it is 156.7 million hectares of land which is again the second largest in the world after united states right but what is happening is mouth that we need to feed and the land available it does not match at all because the land for the agriculture is reducing day by day why because of urbanization industrialization and many other right we will study about this in the later chapters right now according to fao that is food and agriculture organization of united nation there was a survey carried out in 2019 and it was found that 194.4 million people that is 14.5% people in india do not get proper food to eat my god see the huge number means i hope you have understood what is the importance of growing crop in india we need to grow more and more crop to feed more and more mouth now as i told you prior that we are 
you know having large uh, hectares of land for agriculture but still you all know that india is a vast country right and the climatic condition in india varies <coughs> from region to region now if i say climatic condition varies from region to region i'll explain you very simple if you see the climatic condition of rajasthan it will be hot right how will and dry what will be the climatic condition of kashmir it will be very cold over there if i ask you what will be the climatic condition in goa it will be hot and humid right now so what is happening is the climate changes the temperature changes from state to state the humidity changes from state to state now if i say humidity humidity is nothing but the percentage of water present in water vapor present in the atmosphere right if you are near the sea the humidity is more if you are far away from the sea the humidity is less the rainfall rainfall also varies from region to region it rains heavily in assam right so in our country the climatic condition differs from state to state that is the temperature humidity and rainfall changes from region to region despite of diversity this diversity of temperature humidity rainfall and many other conditions india's cropping patterns are broadly divided into two patterns that is two types that is kharif crop and rabi crop so there are two types broadly cropping patterns in india that is the kharif crop and the rabi crop now kharif crop if i say kharif crop is a crop of growing in the rainy season the crop that is grown in the rainy season during monsoon is called as a kharif crop that is from june to september and the example of this kharif crop are the plants that requires more water like paddy maize millet millet is also called as bajra cotton soybean etc so seeds of these crops are sown in the beginning of the monsoon season and after maturation this crops is crops are harvested at the end of the monsoon season so kharif crops are the crops which are grown in the rainy season that is they require more water for example you want to see the pictures of kharif crops paddy rice we call it paddy requires lot of water corn maize we call it soya bean rich in protein sugar cane which is grown all over maharashtra and even in kolhapur right then groundnut and cotton right so these are the examples of kharif crop right now rabi crop what do you mean by rabi crop if kharif is a rainy season crop rabi is the winter season crops that is grown in october to march right and it's called as rabi crop and these crops do not require more water for example wheat gram pea mustard lentil etc now seeds of these crops are grown in the beginning of the winter season and harvested at the end of the winter season that is in april and may so rabi crops requires less water rabi crops grown in the crops grown in the winter season for example wheat oat chickpea mustard almond broccoli etc so these are the crops that are grown in the winter season they require less water as compared to the kharif crop right so there are two broadly two cropping patterns that is the rab kharif crop and the rabi crop now the summer season crop they are called z crops and these uh, pul uh, pulses and vegetables are grown during this particular uh, what we can say season that is summer season so broadly two cropping pattern kharif and rabi clear okay now 
I am going to share a video a relate, which will explain you in more detail the Kharif and the Rabi crop. Please watch this video properly. Right now, let's go and do the re recap. The first thing which I would which I explained you that is about agriculture. The first important word agriculture. What does agriculture mean? Agri means growing the what it is? Yes. What is agriculture? Agriculture is nothing but growing the crop in the field. Yes. Including what? Rearing of animals. So agriculture is a practice of farming including cultivation of soil for growing of crop and rearing of animals. With growing crop, you have, the farmer rears the animals also. Now, the next important definition or next important word is crop. Crop is what? When plants of same kinds are grown and cultivated at one place on large scale, it's called as crop. Right? Now, first agriculture, second crop. Next is cropping pattern. What are the two types of cropping pattern? The Kharif and the Rabi crop. Now, what is the Kharif crop? Crop that is grown in the rainy season or we call it as the monsoon season from June to September. It's called as Kharif crop. Examples are maize, paddy, bajra, cotton, soya bean, etc. What is the next type of crop? That is Rabi crop. Rabi crop grown in the winter season that is October to March. Okay. An example is wheat, gram, pea, mustard and linseed. Right. Now, I hope you have understood the chapter, of, uh, uh, understood the points. Okay. Now, we will continue in the next session, the next part of the chapter. Thank you and complete the worksheet which is given below. Okay. Thank you children.